Today, we're going to be doing some wonderful things like making candles. We have this wax that is soy wax that I got Veronica a while back and she has been wanting to make candles for a while but with us building the house and all we haven't had time. So today we'll be making candles and we'll show you what we're doing. She's up in the loft right now but she'll be down in a moment. We'll see you then. So this may be our first time doing this but we are cruising. We have it already on the pot and boiling. Um, and here, um, let's okay. show you. We have it right here. It tell tell the audience what we have done thus far. Okay, well it's been really complicated. Um, what we did is we stuck two pans together. Um, the pan on the inside is kind of one we don't care about as much, and that's where we put the wax in. And then the other pan is kind of working as like a double boiler, and it has water inside of it, and that's what's going to melt the wax inside of the other pan. Um, so we're just going to wait for the wax to melt. Turn on the oven. So. Yep. So it melts all up. Um, and this again is the wax we're using. It's not the French, but yeah. it's soy wax, and it's actually technically soy flakes. And then we just cleaned off these jars. One was an all fruit jar. <laughs> I don't know what this was—a spice oh. jar. Yeah, it was a. I think a salsa mm -hmm. jar and a. And they actually look fruit. really cool. You just wipe off the tags. Yeah, kind of cute. So. Yeah, and then we just have this fragrance. I think we're doing lavender for these two. Mm -hmm. But so this is our first time doing this. So it may so all I'm be sure, a disaster. Yeah, I'm sure other people have done this and are are <laughs> like, well, they are not doing it right. But <laughs> this is our attempt. So yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It looks so beautiful. It is melting at the moment, as you can tell. So I do that, you can kind of see it shining. Actually, it's kind of rolling there but we have progress and that's always good so as Veronica does the finishing touches tell them what we have done um, basically it was kind of boring we stood around and watched it melt and this is what it looks like which is kind of cool because it melted clear which is what we weren't expecting um, and so I've been gently stirring this for about two minutes yep, we put in some fragrance of the lavender we weren't sure how much to put in so we kind of just put it to where it smells Good. It's not light. It's not too heavy. <laughs> except I have it on my fingers, so I smell like a flower. Walking so around. our next step is literally pouring it into these jars, and then we'll um, hold the wick while it. I don't know. I think we'll position the wick after, so then we don't burn our fingers. Yeah. And then we'll just have something on top that'll hold it in the middle and let it harden. Since we're really classy, we're gonna use a pair of chopsticks that are taped together. <laughs> The directions actually recommended like a popsicle stick that you punch a hole into, but don't have time for that. Yeah, directions. We're we're gonna set our own way, so I think we're gonna get to pouring these. So that was interesting. It's gotta be easy. Oh. Hot 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 hot. Yep. Alright, and then maybe the rest of them. Ta-da! Okay, so if it went down the sides... It looks like olive oil. So, as you can tell, we kind of got a little bit of wax right there. Um, My fault. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But it doesn't, it's not terrible, so... This, this little guy really didn't make, didn't make much of a, of a candle. And we can switch so they can see. Poor thing. But at it's least it looks cool. Okay, so maybe we can fill the other half with like a different color. Different we color. Put, yeah, we put food coloring in. So this is what I'm doing now. I'm just gonna tape up these chopsticks. The reason behind that is because I need it to basically hold this exactly in the middle. Okay. So the tape will kind of keep it tight. Like that, like so. Actually, we need two more. Where are the other two? There they are. More chopsticks. We'll take this guy's too. I wonder how long it takes to dry. <laughs> I think we just let it do its thing. Yeah, so we're gonna just um, let it sit. 
And yeah, <laughs> those are what candles look like. Um, we hope. I guess. Um, ideally, I guess they'll dry white. Kind of like, um, yeah, like they should be. So like that. Yeah, <laughs> except not flakes, just candles. Yeah, it tries as flakes. Though. So yeah, anything you learn from this experience, Jeff? Um, yes, we'll, uh, I'll tell you whenever we say dry, then I'll let you know. And here we have our completed candles. It took, how long did you say it took, hon? It seemed like it took about three hours. Yeah, about three hours to complete. Well, actually, we were gone for a little bit. Well, we so. were gone for three hours and we came back to this. So. <laughs> yeah, and we came back and it was like this. So, it looks awesome and it smells good. Doesn't it smell good? I will demonstrate. She will demonstrate. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. This one turned out a little bit messier. That one, we um, didn't really have enough. You might want to scoop back a little bit. But yeah, we didn't really have enough. You can kind of tell we have like a little bit of messy in there. Still looks cool, but yeah. not as... Not as <laughs> dashing as that other one. Uh -huh. It's just because it's a mason jar, so. Yeah, but if we had filled it up to the top, it probably would have made it easier to look nice. That's also the one, if you remember, that Jeff drew. Everywhere. I did. <laughs> it was my fault. <laughs> but not his fault. So. Yeah. So yeah. first time mistake. Yeah. But so not next time. Now you know how to make candles if you want to, and we have our very first candles up. We made or something. I'm yeah. sure we'll do it again. It was actually really easy. That's right. So. <laughs> Tiny house art. <laughs> hey guys, so wanted to quickly say that our Q&A um, video is going to be posted next week, which I think is the 8th, um, July 8th. So not to worry, we're still going to answer all those questions. I wanted to give everyone like adequate time to, you know, post the question. So then. We wouldn't have to do another Q&A. So, um, that will be coming next week. So hold on to your britches. I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. Um, they've been fun to make. And until next time, 